Welcome to Botany Tutorial. Our topic for this session will be Golden Rice. Golden Rice is a variety of rice which has been genetically engineered to biosynthesize or produce beta-carotene, a precursor of vitamin A or retinol, which gives it a characteristic golden yellow color as we can see here in the picture. So, golden rice is a pro-vitamin A enriched rice. The edible part of a rice grain is the endosperm. Now, beta-carotene, which is a source of vitamin A, is not synthesized in the endosperm of normal rice. But in golden rice, normal rice has been engineered in such a way that it is made to produce this pigment in its endosperm. Aumzia to bupa ngayhian beta-carotene na pailova. Scientists and genetic engineering mangin beta carotene pi buhi and siam tuak taa to to golden rice kanti tuni. Tuan beta carotene hi pro vitamin A ania he beta carotene kan e hian kan pum tunga beta carotene molecule pakat hi vitamin A molecule pania ain siama to to kan tak sign alo la lutin alo mang chang kai tani. The golden rice variety was the product of an eight year long collaboration between these two scientists here, Ingo Patricus and Peter Bayer. Their work was published in the journal Science in 2000. Now here comes the question, why was the Golden Rice Project undertaken? The answer is, to help fight vitamin A deficiency. According to the WHO, vitamin A deficiency is responsible for 1 to 2 million deaths as well as millions of cases of blindness and xerophthalmia annually. So it is a leading cause of preventable blindness and increases the risk of disease and death. Now another question comes to mind, why was rice chosen for delivering vitamin A? It was chosen because rice is a staple food crop of over half of the world's population and vitamin A deficiency is prevalent in countries where rice is a staple food. So it was a logical choice. How was golden rice created? Golden rice was created by introducing two genes from other organisms into rice, phytoin synthase gene and carotene desaturase gene. At first, a third gene, lycopene cyclase, was believed to be required for introduction but was later on found to be already present in the rice endosperm. Okay, here in this picture, this is Narcissus pseudo-Narcissus, commonly called daffodil, from which phytoin synthase gene has been extracted. And here we have carotene desaturase or CRT1 gene is from this gram-negative soil bacterium, Erwinia uredovora. Now let us look at the genetic engineering of golden rice. Phytoin synthase gene from daffodil and carotene desaturase gene from Erwinia were extracted and isolated with the help of restriction enzymes. And these genes were inserted along with a hygromycin resistant selectable marker gene into the plasmid of the bacterium, agrobacterium tumefaciens which is also called nature's genetic engineer due to its natural ability to insert foreign genes into a host genome. Now, immature rice embryos were then co-cultured with agrobacterium and the genes from daffodils and erwinia were introduced into the rice genome. Now, transgenic rice or genetically modified rice plants were then obtained and crossbred with suitable varieties to obtain golden rice. An important thing to note here is that genes introduced were the genes introduced were regulated by endosperm specific promoters, rice glutalin for phytoin synthase gene and a 35S promoter for carotene desaturase, so that the introduced genes were only expressed in the endosperm of rice, which is the edible part. Now let us look at the biosynthesis of beta-carotene in golden rice. The golden rice technology is based on the principle that although rice has the machinery to produce beta-carotene, 
the process is turned off in the grain and with the introduction of the required missing enzymes it is turned on again. So the biosynthetic pathway uses GGPP which is an intermediate product in the biosynthetic pathway of terpenoids in rice. And from here we can see DGPP forms phytoin with the help of phytoin synthase enzyme and phytoin is then converted to lycopene directly by the enzyme carotene desaturase and lycopene that is formed is then converted to beta carotene with the help of lycopene beta cyclase enzyme which is already present in the rice plant. Now let us look at an outline of the biosynthesis. You can see here, GGPP is converted to phytoin with the help of phytoin synthase from daffodils and phytoin is then converted to lycopene with the help of carotene desaturase from Erwinia and lycopene is converted to beta-carotene, a pro-vitamin A by lycopene beta-cyclase which is present in the rice plant and the yellow color of the golden rice obtained is due to the accumulation of beta-carotene in the grains. Now let us look at the amount of carotenoids produced by golden rice. The original or prototype SGR1 variety produced 1.6 microgram per gram of carotenoids and a new variety SGR2 developed in 2005 by the biotech company Syngenta produced 37 microgram per gram of carotenoid which is much more compared to SGR1. Now, in case of SGR2, the phytoin synthase gene was from maize instead of daffodils and the CRT1 from the original golden rice. As we can see here from the picture, the more carotenoid produced, the deeper will be the color of the grain. Golden rice has faced many issues from environmental activists and anti-GMO crop activists who question the safety of GMO crop for human consumption as well as for the environment. These are pictures from Philippines in 2013 when anti-GMO activists destroyed the golden rice trial fields. Okay, now let's look at the scenario 20 years on. In 2018, regulators in the United States, Canada, New Zealand and Australia approved golden rice for consumption. Whereas in Bangladesh, a countrywide protest was organized on February 13, 2019 against the proposed cultivation of golden rice. And this was in response to an announcement by the Bangladesh Agriculture Minister that cultivation of golden rice would start within three months. And on 10th December 2019, the government of Philippines following the footsteps of US, Canada, New Zealand and Australia authorized the direct use of GR2E golden rice in food, feed and for processing. Here are some points to remember. Just a recap of uh, the lesson that we have already learned. Golden rice is a variety of rice designed to produce beta-carotene in its endosperm, giving it its golden yellow color. It was created to help fight vitamin A deficiency. It was created by the introduction of two new genes into rice, phytoin synthase from daffodils and carotene desaturase from Erwinia uredivora. And the beta-carotene is synthesized through the GGPP phytoin lycopene beta-carotene pathway with the help of enzymes from the introduced genes. And with this, we conclude our lesson.